Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. And have you ever wondered on how to avoid pest issues when you stay in hotels? Or maybe you own a hotel and you're looking for more effective ways to keep pests out? Well, today's video, I'm gonna go through answering those questions. So one thing to really keep in mind is that when you're visiting different hotels across the world, sometimes they have pest issues and a lot of times either the staff or the hotel might not even know they're there because they don't know the right signs and things to look for. Now again, it's not like hotels are intentionally trying to be gross or anything like that, but pest issues can come up from time to time, especially because different travelers could end up bringing them with them and if the staff or the hotel doesn't know how to properly identify these pest issues or be on the lookout for them, they can spread rather quickly. But you yourself, when you enter a hotel room or maybe if you're a staff member, one of the common pests that you can run into is bed bugs. And there's different ways to look for these pests and things to keep in mind, whether they're warning signs or different areas you want to look out for for these pests. Now, again, a common misconception is that bed bugs only live on beds. They can actually be found in many different places. So they, they're really hardy and they like to travel too. So if you are on the lookout for them, some places to look for them could be in furniture, uh, cracks and crevices, seam lines around furniture. So again, it's not just beds. Of course, beds be on the lookout for them there, but it also could be furniture, they can end up on your luggage, they can hang out on your clothing. So you could set clothing down on a bed that was infested and they could transfer onto your clothing and back into your luggage. You could bring them home with you. So again, a lot of things to be aware of, but some of the warning signs you want to look out for is things like black spots on the bed, uh, dead carcasses of bed bugs or skins that they've shed uh, on the bedding or on the furniture, uh, little tiny blood spots on sheets. And then also be sure to look, like I had said earlier, in the cracks and crevices around the box frame, around the bedding. Uh, because again, not to say that bed bugs are necessarily nocturnal, but they usually only come out when they sense food, right? So if you're laying on the bed sleeping, that extra warmth that it creates, excess carbon dioxide that you're expelling can actually attract those bed bugs to come out. So again, if you're sleeping around in the day in the hotel room, they could certainly come out then as well. But typically when you first enter your hotel room, they're probably in hiding at that point, waiting for that next meal. So be sure to look for those warning signs and look for them specifically around beds, around cracks and crevices, uh, in the bedding, in the seam line, on the box frame, different things like that. So when you notice them first, you can either you know get the heck out of that hotel room, obviously let the staff know, or if you're a staff member, be on the lookout in those areas as well, in between guests as you're cleaning that hotel room. Now, some other pests to be on the lookout for, again, not really a super common thing, but rodents can certainly get in to hotel rooms. And the biggest thing to keep in mind too is hotels in general or any area that's really confined. So that could be like apartments, dorm rooms, different things like that. When there's close quarters, pests can transfer very quickly from place to place. So again, maybe you have like a rodent issue or a roach issue in like the... Um, parking areas or again outer areas the laundry room maybe of your hotel again those can transfer very quickly to other areas so something to be aware of now uh, if you're staying in a hotel look out for warning signs like rodent droppings or activity in hallways again the parking areas the parking lot because again those can transfer very quickly throughout the hotel now Things like roaches, those tend to hang out uh, in warmer areas, more humid areas, access to water. So again, you'll typically find those in kitchen areas or bathrooms. So again, when you first enter your hotel room, be sure to check in the sink areas, the bathroom areas to see if there's any kind of pest activity in there because pests need three things to survive. They need food, shelter, and water. And again, every hotel room has that bathroom, has that shower, has those faucets. So if any of those happen to have been leaky or again, expelling excess water, those could attract pests as well. Now, again, one of the biggest things to really keep in mind is that if you're on the staff end of things, hotel manager, owner, you want to be on top of this because like I said, 
pest issues can spread very quickly in close quarters like hotels, like apartment complexes, things like that. So if you're an owner of those, be sure to have your staff trained. And one thing that we actually do at Rove Pest Control is we can come out to a business, help train your staff, help teach them what to look for to make sure that you can be preventing pest issues. Or if you do end up with a pest issue, be sure to take action very quickly so it doesn't turn into something huge and cost you even more money as it spreads throughout your complex and your hotel. So again, just something to keep in mind if you're open to that service, you'd like to have us come out to your hotel, to your apartment complex, to train your staff, to have them know what to look for to prevent pest issues in the future, they can reach out to us over at rovepestcontrol.com. And if you do have pest issues, maybe you're a first time customer with us, again, you can go to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and then your information there to get $50 off your first service with us. So again, whether you have a hotel, you're staying in hotels, or maybe you want to set up a prevention program for your home or treat specific pest issues, head on over to rovepestcontrol.com. And then again, as a first time customer with us, you can go to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and get that great discount. But thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.